coming at you with an emergency video because we got another Call of Duty leaking out. And this time we're talking about a Black Ops 2 remake. Now, before you start shaking, before you say that, oh, oh, she, oh, she, it's happening. We're not talking about a Black Ops 2 remaster. So come back to Planet Earth. We're talking about a Black Ops 2 remake where essentially we're going to be having a new Black Ops game that is, I'm not sure if we're going to call it Black Ops 6. I'm not really sure what we're going to call this thing, but it's going to be a Black Ops 2 remake. Now, six months ago, we had a leak, I believe, from Tom Henderson. A month ago, we had another leak from another source, which I will surely cover in this video. But today, a dev came out and started confirming the fact that the next game will have zombies and essentially zombies is confirmed okay so i'll get into that story right now and if you're a giga chat i'm a giga chat you're a giga chat so hit the subscribe button hit the bell and smash the like button but lex came out today okay and listen man lex probably just hit puberty okay look at the whole <laughs> look at the whole video out here probably just ended up uh hitting puberty and had this to say there's a serious chance that a uh, zombies will never return in call of duty game at this point the tweet is banging 3000 likes and i mean damn okay damn like how disappointed you gotta understand okay everybody just listen for one second how disappointed this man had to be to be able to tweet this and to understand the situation effectively my guy uploads zombies content every single day so he's a big zombies guy he's a big zombies fan there used to be a time when i was uploading zombies every day as well so the homie is clearly hormonal and there are a lot of people that are hormonal people out there pounding sand like activision vanguard just shies out the bed now listen there are some people that are liking the game which is awesome but there are a lot of people that are currently disappointed and i totally share that sentiment as well like especially vanguard zombies my god we don't even have a zombies man we don't even have a zombies crew not even a wonder weapon not even a pack punch camo i mean damn bro did we really fall down this bad aesthetics are good okay so that's the only positive now to understand the homie came on dbs i uh, shout out to the homie dbs for actually dming me this situation i tweeted this yesterday and ended up hitting like almost 2600 likes i mean damn okay that's wild because Barbie, the game girl, Barbie, the game girl, just put Call of Duty to... Barbie just chokeslam the Shiza out of Call of Duty Vanguard. Vanguard sitting almost at like 5k viewers. Barbie sitting at 20k viewers. I mean, damn, like Barbie just pinned Activision hard out here, right? So homies are clearly hormonal. But then Kevin Drew came out. Now to understand, Kevin Drew is a lead game designer at Treyarch in charge of Shambi systems and outbreak for Black Ops. Uh, I cannot say that word on YouTube. Opinions are my own. My God, this guy needs to be the communication manager. Make this guy the communication manager for Activision as a whole. My guy talks more than Activision ever did, okay? This guy communicates more with the fans. Obviously, he's still restricted and he cannot say much more. But to understand, my guy, like, I'm saying to understand a lot more in this video. So I gotta stop saying that. Smash the like button for me to somebody count how many times I said understand. But listen, man. This guy needs to be the communication manager, and this is one of those guys that recently also came out and said that if people put more pressure and if people, if there is demand for Zombie Chronicles 2, we're gonna get Zombie Chronicles 2 if people still keep on putting that pressure. So, homie be talking a lot, man. Whenever there's good news, I gotta talk about it. Credit where it's due, and you can see, we even had Mr. Dalek JD shaking oh, oh, around shaking. the block. We have, you gotta understand, we have Mr. Dalek JD shaking oh around the block, okay? How crazy is that? How crazy is that? Three hours ago on top, I was working on a gaming news video and I had to come out with this. The homie look dropping Ws, the whole streets, we have hives, Mr. T likes to five viewers saying well and essentially my guy has confirmed that zombies will be in the next trailer game which is awesome right now i want to dive into the leak that came out call of duty 2023 leak says it's black ops with a battlefield 20 2042 style setting not not battlefield 2042 okay listen i'm a big battlefield fan but i'm also a big call of duty fan and both had me disappointed big time okay but listen this leak happened a couple of months ago, and I'm not sure if Tom Henderson said anything about it or not. I feel like he did, but I cannot seem to find any tweet of The only tweet and the only source uh, that I'm able to find right now is Ralph. So Ralph came out back on November 6th, or actually just a month ago at this point. I feel like six months ago it was Tom Henderson, and a month ago it was Ralph. Could be wrong. Says that 2023 dropped this image of Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 is the good. I love Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 is such a polished game, my guy. Like, zombies is phenomenal. I love the multiplayer, despite the loot boxes, the, 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 the microtransactions, and the 
community getting cucked by Activision, followed by slaying similar to the setting seen in Battlefield 2042. Setting itself is in the near future, and I think near future is gonna work really well. Uh, and I'm assuming this game is gonna be set between like Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 4. I feel like if Treyarch is given enough time by Activision, and if Activision do not cut them, I feel like this is gonna be a good game. But click on this video on the screen, and I will see you right there. Just click it, man. You're gonna.